If you are a nursing student, you are embarking on a journey to not only be trained as a nurse, but to be a healthcare professional. But what does it mean to be a professional nurse? And how does a professional nurse act? Good questions that we're gonna answer in today's video. What makes a profession different from any other job is a code of ethics. That's what makes physicians different from being anything else. They also have a Hippocratic Oath and a Code of Ethics. Nursing has their own. It's the American Nursing Association Code of Ethics. And did you know that there is a section that addresses very clearly how a nurse should act? It's section 1.5 and it says this, the principle for respect for persons extends to all individuals with whom the nurse interacts. The nurse maintains compassionate and caring relationships with colleagues and others with a commitment to the fair treatment of individuals, to integrity preserving compromise, and to resolving conflict. Now when you look at those principles of respect, this is something that must be lived out while you are yet a student in nursing school and not magically expect to just somehow develop after you graduate. The time is now. But what does disrespectful behavior look like? What does bullying and incivility look like, not only in nursing practice, but in nursing education? Let's take a look at what the literature defines as the most common bullying behaviors that students can be responsible for in nursing education. Students who make rude comments during lecture. They engage in side conversations or dominate the class. They use their cell phone while the faculty is teaching. Or they use their computer not to follow along with the lecture, but to surf the web. All of those are disrespectful behaviors that capture the essence of what a professional does not act like. They also come to class late and they leave early and even sleep in class. Or they make excuses for poor performance and get angry when you point out something that was incorrect. They come to class or clinical inadequately prepared, and they pressure faculty to get what they want. But the most common that I have seen in my experience in nursing education as a faculty is that they badmouth freely as if they have the right to talk poorly about other faculty, the nursing program, or other students. And I think it's important to recognize that as students, we need to define what that behavior looks like that's disrespectful so we can strive for something much better, to be a professional and live by that code of ethics, which is based on a standard of respect. So how do we be the need to change? Quite simple. Number one, as students, treat faculty and students consistently with an attitude of respect. Secondly, commit to not do those bad behaviors of disrespectful behavior in class and everything else that was just mentioned, especially when it comes to standing up for the absent student or faculty. When you are overhearing gossip, it's all too easy just to kind of either just stay right there or to basically just do, do nothing. What you must do in practice as well as in nursing education, when you hear students in a group bad-mouthing others, faculty, students, you name it. Kind of call it out and say, it sounds like you have a problem with that faculty. Have you addressed it with them directly? And if not, I don't think this is very productive. And you walk away. What you've done is send a very clear message that this is unacceptable and you will no longer be a part of it. If your faculty with the nursing education clearly define what is expected for the behaviors of your students, those behaviors I just mentioned. Make sure that each of those are in your student handbook and have zero tolerance for the incivility that can often be present with the nursing education. And, and then initiate discipline based on violation of those norms that are in your student handbook for any other violation of conduct. But most importantly, if you're a nurse educator, role model what it looks like to be a professional. Demonstrate caring towards your students, respect and professionalism of the highest level that you will be that nurse that your students will imprint and will be the change because they see your example. 
If you'd like more information on this practical topic, look no further than Chapter 4 of my student text, Think Like a Nurse, Practical Preparation for Professional Practice. It has been adopted by programs of nursing across the country. Emphasizes need-to-know content on incivility, as well as lab value and the essence of clinical reasoning applied to practice. Check out the links on this video for more information. But in closing, I want to emphasize for you as a student, embrace what it means to be a member of a profession and adhere to the code of conduct and live it out. Incivility remains too endemic in nursing and nursing education. Therefore, the time for needed transformation is now. Make a decision to no longer be a part of the problem, but commit to be part of the needed solution today. Thank you.